hello everyone uh, in this particular video i'll be talking about uh, you know uh, i'll be talking about that how to calculate missing frequencies out of once the quartiles are given so from the quartiles we are going to know that how to calculate the missing frequencies if you look into the problem <coughs> i've got daily wages class intervals listed right here 0 to 10 10 to 20 30 to 30 30 to 40 40 to 50 50 to 60 but there are two frequencies that are missing one is here and one is here now my job is to identify what is the value of f1 and what is the value of f2 and i've been given the value of first quartile and third quartile so let's go ahead and let's find out let's solve this problem so you can pull out your calculators you can do this thing simultaneously let's see how it works out okay let me list the problems first and then we are going to solve it so i'm going to write the problem right here so i was having classes which i'll be representing by x let's say and i was having frequencies I'll represented by f then i'll be calculating some cumulative frequencies so look into the classes do 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 40 to 50 and 50 to 60 okay when I talk about frequencies it was 5 the second was missing so I have given it a value called f1 then the 20 and 30 and there was another frequency was missing I've given the second one name f2 and then there is a 10 now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find out the cumulative frequencies all of you understand how to find the cumulative frequencies so first of them is going to be 5 second is going to be 5 plus f1 then it will be like I'll be adding it to 20 so it is 25 plus f1 then 25 plus 30 becomes 55 plus f1 now 55 plus f1 plus f2 And the last one is 55 plus 10 that is 65 plus f1 plus f2 so i have my cumulative frequencies uh, by the way you can also understand that this particular value this one right here is also a value of capital n or total frequencies so uh, let's start and uh, let's see exactly uh, how we can find these missing frequencies of f1 and f2 so I, I need to recall the first quartile given to me was 23.125 I'll see that where this quartile in which class this quartile is falling so it is falling definitely in the class 20 to 30 so this is my first quartile class because you can see 23.125 is between 20 to 30 so if I recall the formula of quartile the quartile formula is something like this for first quartile it is lower limit of the quartile class plus 1 times n total number of frequencies divided by 4 minus cumulative frequency of previous class divided by frequency of quartile class times the class interval i now i have the value of q1 which is 23.125 so i've written it here and the lower limit is definitely this 20 because this is the quartile class which I've identified because 23.125 is falling somewhere in between so it is going to be 20 plus 1 n divided by 4 so what is the value of n I have already told you this is the value of n 1 since you multiply anything by 1 it doesn't have any relevance so I'll leave it as it is so it is 65 plus f1 plus f2 divided by 4 minus cumulative frequency of previous to quartile class which is right here so that is going to be 5 plus f1 and then this whole thing is to be divided by frequency of quartile class which is right here 20 multiplied with the class interval so 20 to 30 30 minus 20 the class interval is 10 let's progress let's make some calculations so it's all arithmetic now you can bring this 20 on the other side it becomes minus 20 is equal to 
this is going to cancel out to 10 to 20 and uh, so you can you can further go ahead with it like so this numerator you can take the LCM 4 for all the values and definitely in division there is this 2 right here and it's going to be 65 plus f1 plus f2 minus this 4 is going to get multiplied into 5 and f1 so it's going to be minus 20 minus 4 f1 so what do I get now what I have on the left hand side if you look into this thing it is going to give me 3.125 is equal to then uh, this definitely is going to come here 65 minus 20 and then makes it 45 plus f1 okay that's great okay I'll, I'll just I'll just write it this way so in next step I'll make it little clear minus 4 f1 divided by 4 to 8 so this seems pretty sorted out now I'm going to uh, write it here uh, okay, we can, we can start here only. So it is 3.125 times 8. This 8 is going to go this side, which is called as cross multiplication, 45. Now f1 minus 4 f1 is going to give me minus 3 f1 plus f2. Now how it is going to be, if you multiply this, this becomes 25. I take 45 also on this side of the equal to which becomes minus 45 is equal to minus 3 of f1 plus f2. If you solve it, it gives you negative 20 is equal to negative 3f1 plus f2. Now I'm to multiply both sides by minus 1. So I'll multiply it with minus 1 here and multiply it with minus 1 here. And finally, what I'm going to get. I'm going to get 3f1 plus f2. Sorry, it is supposed to be minus. Let me clean it up. Okay, fair. That's it. 3f1 minus f2. Oh, I couldn't pick the pencil. Just a minute. Yeah, minus f2 is equal to 20. So I'll keep it as my equation number 1. So minus 1, if you multiply, it becomes plus 3f1, it becomes minus f2, and it becomes plus 20. So I'll put it in the bracket again. So just remember this equation. Once I'm going to move to the next page, I'll write this equation on the top. So, okay. This was the equation which I got from my first calculation. 3f1 minus f2 is equal to 20. That was equation number 1, which I got from the previous slide. Now, what is the value of q3? Now Q3, if you recall, is given to me as 43.5. Now what is the formula for Q3? It's going to be L plus 3N by 4 minus cumulative frequency of previous class divided by frequency of quartile class times the class interval I. So I'll, I'll just uh, see the previous slide and exactly see where this quartile is falling. Remember 43.5. So I'll get back to here. So if you see the Q3 was 43.5. So if you if you could recall 43.5 is right here in this class. So this becomes my third quartile class. The value of lower limit becomes 40 which is right here. The cumulative frequency of previous class which has to be plugged in the formula is this value right one. That means 55 plus F1. The frequency of quartile class is going to be F2. And the class interval I is going to be 50 minus 40, which is 10. So I have all the values related to my formula. I am going to plug it in where I have written Q3. So I am going to move to next slide. That is it. This is here. So L was, uh, it is 43.5 on this side. It is 40 definitely plus 3 and I hope you recall the value of L, N sorry. It was 65 plus F1 plus F2. You can check back the video, pause it, see it behind. And I'm going to write it divided by 4 because it is 3 times N by 4. 
So I have just replaced n here minus cumulative frequency of previous class which is 55 plus f1 divided by frequency of quartile class which is f2 multiplied with the class interval 10. Now we are going to make some calculations again the algebra I'll take 40 on this side here and uh, that is going to be something called 3 can be multiplied in and that is going to give me something called 195 plus 3f1 plus 3f2 divided by 4 this is 4 by the way minus 55 plus f1 and divided by f2 times 10 so this becomes here 3.5 definitely and I can take this 10 again on this side divided by 10 is equal to again I'll take LCM in the numerator which is equal to 4 divided by F2 here and it is going to be 195 plus 3 F1 plus 3 F2 now this 4 is going to be multiplied in this minus 55 times 4 which is 220 minus 4 of F1 so when moment I open the bracket this plus sign gets converted into minus now I'm going to go to next particular thing which gives me 0.35 3.5 divided by 10 is this is equal to and uh, okay I'm going to solve it in the next step it is 195 plus 3f1 plus 3f2 minus 220 minus 4f1 divided by f2 and that that 4f2 right because this 4 is going to get multiplied here so if I take this whole stuff on left hand side then this is going to go here it becomes like 1.40 f2 is equal to 195 minus 220 which is going to give you negative 25 then let's have something for 3 f1 minus 4 f1 so I'll, I'll just write f2 first and it hardly matters so 3 f1 minus 4 f1 so it becomes minus f1 divided by what nothing because 4 f2 I have taken on the other side now you can club the terms here I can put it something like 1.40 of f2 minus 3 of f2 is equal to minus 25 minus f1 now okay this is equal to now if you solve it you're going to get something like negative 1.60 f2 because 1.40 minus 3 is this negative 25 negative f1 I'm going to multiply again whole thing by minus 1 multiplied with this whole thing this whole thing is also being multiplied with minus 1 on both sides then it is going to give me 1.60 of f2 minus f1 is equal to 25 that's equation number 2 so equation number 1 right here so I'll modify it and write it this way plus f2 sorry minus f2 plus 3 f1 is equal to 20 that was my first equation and uh, I know you can solve these equations easily so this whole thing I'm going to multiply it with 3 so look at this how it is going to happen minus f2 plus 3 f1 is equal to 20 and if you multiply it with 3 it becomes like uh, 4.8 of f2 minus 3 of f1 is equal to 75 add both these equations which is going to cancel out this is going to give you 3.8 of f2 is equal to 95 and makes it f2 is equal to 25 plug it in equation number 1 and that is going to be 3 times f1 minus 25 is equal to 20 you make a little calculation and f1 you are going to get is 15 so both the frequencies are obtained and I'm going to wind it up because the time last few terms I just rushed through a little quickly because the time was like getting over for the video so that's how if the quartiles are given and certain frequencies are missing you can calculate them thank you very much